Hello there and welcome to video 5 in the introduction to LaTeX series. In this video we're going to look at two front to back examples where we typeset the quadratic formula and the definition of the derivative from calculus and this should put together everything that we've learned so far. So let's start with the quadratic formula and the way I'm going to do this is write out the quadratic formula first and then we'll go into LaTeX to typeset it. So we know the quadratic formula says uh, if um, ax squared plus bx plus c equals zero then and uh, the quadratic formula's result is pretty important so I'm going to use displayed mode uh, to set this off and write uh, or eventually typeset x equals negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a so there's the quadratic formula and just looking at the formula and thinking ahead as to what I'm going to have to do in LaTeX, I see a couple of places where there are some exponents to take care of. This is going to be an inline math mode. All this stuff is going to be in displayed math mode. There's a root with a bunch of things under it, a fraction with some pretty large uh, with a pretty large numerator. And then finally there's uh, the plus minus sign which uh, we haven't learned so I'm going to have to go look that up. So let's go over into ScribTech and start uh, typing up the LaTeX for this. So now here we are in ScribTech with an outline of a document already set up. One new thing you see here in the third line is a comment. You can always add comments into your LaTeX code uh, just like you might do if you were writing a computer program. The percent symbol at the beginning of a line indicates that everything on that line is going to be a comment. Uh, it'll appear in the raw source code for your LaTeX file but will not appear in the output. So if you need to leave yourself a note or somebody else a note explaining what is happening in a certain place, that's how to do it. So let's try to do what we can uh, with the tools we have uh, to set up what we hand wrote a minute ago. So first line is going to say if, that's easy enough, and then we're going to put the uh, quadratic equation in inline math mode, so one dollar sign, and then it was ax, ax squared, and so to get the exponent I type a caret symbol, that's shift six, and then a two, and just for clarity I'll put a space there, plus bx plus c equals zero. I'll close out math mode with another dollar sign, comma, then. And now here's where I switch into displayed math mode. I'm going to put two spaces here. The extra space doesn't really matter. All you need is really one space. Uh, this helps the uh, source code to be a little more readable. Then I'll begin displayed mode, displayed math mode with a double dollar sign. And then I'll need x equals everything to the right of the equal sign is a fraction. So I'm going to start with slash frac two sets of curly braces, one for the numerator, the other for the denominator, and let's go ahead and close off the math mode here. Now let's just fill in the blanks. Uh, in the numerator, I'm going to have negative b, and here's where we come to something we haven't learned yet. We are needing the plus and minus symbol, and we haven't seen that. So what I've got over here on an extra tab is that comprehensive LaTeX symbol guide that we mentioned in the last video. And I've gone to uh, the page here where it starts on mathematical symbols, and I can just start doing a search here until I see what I need. And I see, there it is, uh, slash PM gives me the plus minus symbol. This very frequently has to happen. I could have also gone over to Detecify and tried writing that in, but very often and you're going to need a symbol that you haven't ever seen before, no problems. Just go to the document or Detecify or Web Equation and look it up. So let's go back and put in slash PM. Now what happens next is a square root, so I'm going to type slash SQRT, and then another set of curly braces for the argument of the square root. So now inside the square root symbol, let's put what we need. That would be b squared, again with the caret key there to get the uh, 2 as an exponent, minus 4ac. And we're all done. So now I'm going to go with the, the uh, denominator and just type 2a. That's all I needed to typeset, so I'm just going to click Compile. And over in my other tab, I see that I do have what I needed. Let's zoom in so we can get a really good look at it. So that's nice looking math. Now let's try another famous equation for mathematics, and that's the definition of the derivative in calculus, uh, at least as it appears in some textbooks. So the way you might see this written out in the textbook is to say let uh, f, that's a variable f now, uh, be a function. Let f be a function. Then and here I'm going to put the definition, which again, it's important, so that's what displayed math mode is for. f prime of x equals limit as delta x approaches zero of a fraction again, f of 
x plus delta x minus f of x over delta x. And in this one, we have a little bit of trailing text that would have to go back in line. And that is to say, that's the derivative if the limit exists. So this uh, equation is very similar in how it will be latex up uh, to the quadratic formula with a few twists. Uh, I need to get this delta into the game here in three different places. There's an arrow that I need to find and also I need to think about a mathematical uh, limit uh, command here. If I just type LIM, I don't know if that's going to look quite right. So let's go over to uh, our editor and start latexing it up. So over here in the editor, I have put in another comment to indicate to myself in the source code that I'm starting a new section. And let's just type what we can, let f in math mode, of course, because f is a variable, be a function. Then I'm going to go into displayed math mode this time. So $2 signs, f, the prime we're just going to use an apostrophe straight off the keyboard of x equals. And now I need the limit. Uh, if I just type lim, it's not going to look quite right. It will look like a variable l next to a variable i next to a variable m. I want the lim to look almost like it is just regular text. So if this is actually a command I'm going to use. I don't know necessarily what that command is, so I'm going to go back to my uh, comprehensive symbol list. I have no idea where it is, so I can just uh, do a quick search for LIM. And it uh, brings me a lot of things, uh, m many of, of which are substrings of something else I don't want, like delimiters. Uh, so let me uh, advance this to the next place where I see this showing up. Somewhere around in here. And I'm going to look for... L-I-M, L-I-M. This can be a fairly time. Oh, I think I found it. I think I found it. There it is, slash L-I-M under log-like symbols. So slash L-I-M, fairly logical. So I'm going to go and put slash L-I-M. Now to get the delta x approaches 0 underneath, I'm just going to subscript. And many commands like limits or uh, sigma notation that you use for summing, in displayed mode, uh, subscripts are actually go directly underneath the symbol, not just like as, a, as an index subscript. And that's going to be the case for limit too. So I'm going to put just a regular subscript underscore here. Now what I'm subscripting here is not just one variable, but actually several things. I need a delta, I need an x, I need a right pointing arrow, and I need a zero. So in order to get all of that stuff to be subscripted, I need a set of curly braces. So everything that I put inside the curly braces at this point is going to go underneath the LIM. Now what is going to go in here is a capital delta not a lowercase delta, but a capital delta, x. And I need a right pointing arrow. And I could go back to my uh, comprehensive symbol list and do that. Um, or I could go over to detecify because this is just a single symbol. And so detecify ought to work pretty well. Let me just see if I can draw a right pointing arrow. And it will uh, think for a minute and eventually come back with hopefully something that's close to uh, the right thing. In fact, there's several things that could be uh, interpreted as this. Just a straight right arrow I think will be fine for what we need. So let's go back to here. And I'll put right arrow. I'll also say just the command slash TO2 will also work here. And I put zero. And now uh, the hard part is basically over. I need a fraction, numerator, denominator. And uh, this, the top of the fraction is f of x plus capital delta x minus f of x. And then in the denominator, it's just a capital delta x close off the displayed mode. And then the trailing text here said if the limit exists. So that ought to do it. Let's go over and compile it. And indeed we have our limit definition right here. And once again, just notice if I could zoom in on the uh, the limit definition. Looking underneath the limit, notice that the limit actually appears as regular text, which is how it's supposed to, and everything that we put inside the curly braces is uh, subscripted underneath that limit as it should be.